welcome back. Um, this is Gina. I've got two journals to share with you guys today. This is my design team project for Dreams Etc. Um, this is Jennifer's latest kit, which is embroidered lace, um, and it is a gorgeous one. If you uh, if you like um, shabby chic uh, lace stitching. Um, lots of pinks and golds and uh, you will love it. You'll love this kit. Uh, it's a big kit. Jennifer's kits are always big. Uh, lots of elements in it. Um, so we'll just get started. I've got um, two of them. They're very similar. I'm going to go through this one first. If I've got time I'll flip through this one. Um, but it just depends on how long it takes me. Um, what I've done is I've named this one Isabella. And you've got a tag here, and then this one I have named Sophie. Isn't that a precious face? So we'll sit Sophie to the side. If I've got time, I'll go through it. If not, they are very similar. Um, so this is a fabric, one signature. Um, this is kind of like an upholstery type uh, fabric. Love that color of uh, blush pink. It's beautiful. And these are elements um, from this kit and I've just done some stitching with it and and on the back I've got a piece of um, very old lace um, I've done some uh, stitching around it and and then I created a pocket here and then on the back I've stamped this book belongs to now you don't have to keep this tag um, in the front I just personally think it's really sweet to have something tucked there um, and I do love these um, tags from the kit gorgeous uh, with all of the jewelry bits and bling. Um, so in f in the front uh, cover I've got um, these are more elements from the kit that I've fussy cut and I love these. These are tags that you get and they're the old Chanel um, type bottles. I love that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So that's tucked in there. Um, just bits of ephemera that I thought looked nice with um, with the kit and coordinated and then another tag here that's tucked. So you've got two pockets on the front um, and then this is uh, paper from the, the kit which is gorgeous. You get lined paper and then you also get some um, just plain decorated. Love this pocket. Beautiful. Um, try to give you guys a close-up of it. Yeah she's taken it's um, a lot of embroidery, obviously, because that's the, kit, the name of the kit. Um, and then, you know, various bits of jewel, uh, jewelry and uh, pearls. It's just beautiful. So these are just, um, this is one of the tags from the kit as well. So I've tucked that in there. And then I've just included other um, bits from my stash that I think went with it. Everything's tea dyed in here. I've added some um, fabric ruffles. Um, also some fabric snippet tabs. I've done some stamping. This is another page from the kit. Beautifully collaged. Like I said, lots of pinks, turquoise, which I love those colors uh, together. Um, just various places for you to do writing. There's a lot of journal space in this. Um, and then a little altered uh, Rolodex card with uh, two pockets here for you to add things to. Uh, more stamping. Um, this is a little pocket I created here that you've got um, some more ephemera in. These little um, tuck spots come with the kit and then I've just collaged on it to make um, a bit more interest. Here's another one of the pages. Beautiful, beautiful images. I love the old Victorian ladies in this. Um, here's one of the little fabric snippet tabs, and then I've put a little bell, so you've got a nice little jingle to it. Some more collaging there. I love this with the, the stitching and um, flowers. It's just really, really been put together nicely. Um, a um, doily that's been tea dyed. <clears throat> this is another element from the kit, and I've just... Um, backed it onto another little bit of snippet. This opens up and you've got more little bits of ephemera to write on. So 
plenty of room to do some journaling and even a bit there's still a bit of space you know if you wanted to add more ephemera you, you could to it but it was getting quite chunky and I like to leave lots of room for um, journaling beautiful I love that page so many pretty colors in it um, this is the center of the signature um, more of the tea dyed paper and then here I've just done like another little, um, this is an age safety pin. I've added a couple beads and then just this little rosette. <clears throat> this is some, um, it's like coffee dyed with some lace <coughs> design to it. Um, this is from a different kit I've got, but I've backed it so that there would be no white within the journal. <coughs> This is an altered uh, tea bag pocket that I've done. So you've got uh, a lot going on there with some collaging of old um, doily, some pearls. I've put a butterfly that's a dimensional. And then I've added a little pearl here. here. And then there's a tag tucked in behind. So I really like how this has come out. A bit more stamping there. Look at that page, it's so pretty. Uh, here's another tag from the kit. And then just another um, bit of ephemera from my stash. <coughs> this is another one of the little tuck spots that you get from the kit. I just collaged it up with a bit more. Um, I had some extra paper that I had cut out, so I just wanted to use it all up. I'm trying to be disciplined in using all of the kits. Um, you know, from my designers making sure I use everything and it's not easy to do sometimes because they all are such big kits. Um, this is um, a double pocket. You've got a pocket here, um, a little tuck spot here, a pocket here, and then this flips over so you've got even more journaling space there. hope that's all showing. So I like that. I like how that has come out. A bit more uh, fabric there. Another old um, receipt from my stash that I've included, and I love this little tuck spot. That's really pretty. Here I've created another one and tucked in this little journal tag from the kit. I love those. Really pretty colors in this kit. Look at that page. I love the fact you get the lined one as well as, um, you know, just the, the regular designs. Here I've done an Edith Holden um, envelope, and I've created a tuck spot back here and here, and then just added this little old um, digital of a postcard, vintage postcard. <laughs> I'll get it out. Um, I love that page there. That's what I'm talking about, you know, so she's giving you some that are lined and some that are just, um, you know, collaged, which is beautiful. I love those little flowers within that design. Really pretty. It's been a lot of fun working with this kit. Um, here I've created an, another um, tuck spot back here. There's a pocket here. This is a book page that I've done some collaging. Um, what I did, I printed out one of the um, papers onto, you know, just the copy paper, and then I just started doing some collaging on various things that I had, and just various bits of ephemera from a stash that I thought coordinated uh, nicely with it. And then this is the back of the journal. Um, here I've got another tag. Um, this is one of my doilies that's sandwiched between um, the baking paper. If you're interested in this, I've got a tutorial um, on my channel for that. And then here I just did a tiny little, it's just a little scrap notebook um, that I've tucked inside there. And this is one of the elements from the kit. And I've sewn on a button there. So um, the closure is Sari Silk. And there you have um, 
that is Isabella. We're doing fine on the time, so I will let you have a peek at Sophie. So again, it's this, um, it's like a blush pink uh, upholstery. Um, beautiful little image. I love that. And then as I said, this is one of the elements that I've just fussy cut and stitched. And um, So you can move this tag inside the journal if, if you don't like it on the front. And this one, very similar um, to uh, Isabella, but uh, some of the tags will be slightly different. Um, but the kit was large enough that I could complete two of these. Um, the only thing I did do is I went back and, and printed out a couple of the um, background papers. I think I printed an extra three of those so that I could collage with those. But um, the kit is big, and like I said, I was able to do two out of it, so that's great. Um, love this pocket, as I said before. And this is um, another one of the elements. I love that. A bit more of the fabric ruffle. Um, another one of the little, um, little tight pockets. And um, so I've just added this little circle tag on top. This is another one of the pages. Beautiful. There's just so much going on in the, it. I just love it because you've got the stitching, um, the in, um, embroidery work, and then you've got the postage. It's just beautiful. And this is another one of the, um, uh, you get f four of these, I believe, and I love that because it's like a big, chunky charm. I so wish I could make those for my journals, but I just, I'm not really into the journal making, um, jewelry making, and I don't want to go down that route because, uh, as you guys know, gosh, the crafting just, it just never seems to end. You start with one thing and then it branches off, so I've just had to, you know, stop myself from going into the jewelry. I've got a bit, um, i got a few, you know, beads here and there that I've picked up at the car boot, but I just can't. Uh, I, I so wish I could make these types of charms, but I can't. <laughs> and here is another um, fabric. Uh, snippet tab and then I've got the little bell. I love those bells on my journals now. They just really add something to it. Um, a bit more ephemera tucked in here. Some collaging there. Love that page. I've tried, I've tried to scan some of my um, beautiful um, you know embroidered tablecloths and linens and things and um, they're not coming out very nice so I'm not sure what the technique is for that. I might have to experiment when I get a bit more time because it's a shame I've got some beautiful things. Here's another little tuck spot here and then you've got another book page pocket and I love that tag. That is gorgeous with the jewelry hanging from it. So, so pretty. Yeah, as I said, my problem isn't uh, finding interesting things to do. It's just um, time, because I do. I have such a broad um, interest in things. Uh, I wish I had the time to pursue all of them, but I don't. Unless I can figure out a way to live without sleep. <laughs> that would be so nice. I'd gain another you know, 8 to 10 hours a night, wouldn't I? Another little tag tucked in there. I love that page with all the stitching and it's just beautiful. That must be free motion stitching. I'm still waiting to be able to get my free motion um, attachment for my sewing machine and still can't find it in stock, so I don't know. It must be very popular at the moment. That's a pretty page as well. Another um, snippet um, tab, and I've got 
the beads on that as well. So it's very similar to the first one, you know, just I've moved things around slightly. I do love these. These have come out so pretty this time, the um, Ultra Tea Bags. I have a tutorial on how to do those as well if you're interested. Um, I've created a, a uh, playlist uh, for all of my tutorials, so if you're interested in any of them, just go onto my playlist and you can narrow it down a lot quicker just by doing that. Um, here I've done another little collaged uh, mini index card and a, another bit of ephemera from my stash. And then this is a little pocket there. Oh, she's so sweet, that little image. Sophie, that's what I've named her, Sophie. It's pretty. It's been a while since I've worked with any... Um, of the vintage ladies because I used to struggle to come up with names for them but it's been so long now since I've created one I thought well I, I shouldn't have any trouble naming these and that's another image from um, the kit that's on a collage page and I just ripped it apart and added it to an Edith Holden book page There's another fabric ruffle and another one of these. Um, it's like a double envelope flip out. So we've got uh, this is another one of the tags from the kit. Beautiful. Some vintage uh, tickets. That's a printout, not, not the genuine ones. I've used all the genuine ones. <laughs> And here's another bit of ephemera in this little pocket. And on the back, the same thing. I've done a little notebook in here, just scrappy papers that I had left over. And I love, love, love that tag. Beautiful. So this is Sophie, and these are in my shop for sale if you're interested in them. Um, I hope you'll leave a comment below. I want to uh, welcome all my new subscribers. I hope that uh, you'll enjoy my channel, and I appreciate you guys so much. I will be back <coughs> later in the week. I'll have another Create with me. I don't know yet what I'm doing, but I will be back with something so you guys have a great rest of the week, and I will see you here soon. Bye.